We got a new announcement of two new starter sets coming down the line. And these two new sets come with a brand new game mechanic. So let's take a look at everything we know so far. But before we begin, hi, my name is Justin. And I'd like to start by taking a moment to give a huge thanks to everyone that was supportive while I was away, and to those who stuck around. You have no idea how it helped ease my mind during those tough times, and how it's invigorating me into coming back into all of this. So thank you again. Also, because we live in a capitalist society, shameless plugs! I want to remind everyone that I do have two playmats, the Bushy Agamon and Gabumon Crest of Friendship, that are available for order right now. If you're interested in either one, links to those are down in the description, as well as the link to my Patreon. If you ever wish to go above and beyond in supporting me in this channel, well, Patreon is the place to do it. And of course, you receive some extra perks too, like shoutouts, having your names in the end credits of every video, oh, and exclusive items like uh, these nice little metal memory counters featuring Agumon and Gabumon, and I give those away to any of my rookie tier and higher for the US and Canada, as well as champion tier and higher for international patrons. Patrons. I've also had one of these little babies made. I don't know if you can see that. There it goes. This is a little Agumon figure all curled up inside the cube. So, if you're interested in one of these, leave me your thoughts down in the uh, comment section, and if enough people voice their interest, I might uh, try to get these produced uh, and uh, yeah, make them available to you guys. Alright, enough of all that. Let's get to what you came for. And here they are. The two new starter sets, ST9 and ST10. ST9 is currently being called Ultimate Ancient Dragon and features Imperial Dramon as its main boss Digimon, and ST10 is called Another World Tactician and features Mastamon. You'll also notice that the boxes prominently feature uh, fusion Digimon like uh, Pile Dramon and Dino Beamon on the uh, Imperial Dramon set, as well as, of course, Mastamon is a fusion Digimon of Andrew Woman and Lady Devamon. And that's because there is a brand new game mechanic called Jagras Digivolution or DNA Digivolution in the English translation. Now, all of these translated proxies come uh, from the DTCG review over on Twitter, so big thanks to them. They uh, always come out real quick when these things get released and with a nice, easy to understand translations. Uh, but you can also find them on digimonmeta.com as well as withthewill.net. And we are going to start off with Mastamon for the moment. I will cover all of the effects of Mastermind, but the main takeaway here is going to be the Jagras Digivolution mechanic. So, to start with, the first bit of text is about the Jagras effect and basically roughly translates to uh, Jagras zero cost from level 5 yellow plus level 5 purple. Uh, essentially what this means is if you have Mastermind in your hand, and you have both a level 5 yellow Digimon and a level 5 purple Digimon on the field, you can stack those Digimon and all their sources on top of each other, and then put Mastermon on top as your new Digimon that you just evolved into. Also, really cool is if either or both of your level 5s are suspended, when Jagras Digivolving, your new Digimon, in this case Mastermon, would unsuspend and become active. So you could basically attack with each of the two sources and then Jagras Digivolve them into Mastermon and attack again. Essentially what you're giving up here is having the card advantage of two Digimon on the field for one bigger Digimon. Uh, but you'll soon see here in just a second that that advantage is not really lost. So Mastermon's first main effect is a when digivolving effect allows you to place one yellow or purple Digimon from your trash onto the top of your security stack. And if you digivolved into Mastermon by Jagras Digivolution, you can then check your security stack and play one level 5 or lower Digimon from security without paying its cost, and then shuffle your security. So right there, that effect negates the whole card advantage loss of Jagras Digivolution because you get to slap another one right back on the field if 
there's one in your security to play. But because you can place one from your security stack, from your trash to the security stack, you pretty much guarantee that you have something to play. Or you could put something, say you have a level six in your trash, you could place that on your security stack and then now your opponent has something big to deal with. Or you could place a Digimon that has a security effect that allows you to play that card when it gets pulled in security check. So there's a little bit of uh, different strategy you can play there with this effect. But then Mastermon's second effect is on both turns, when another one of your Digimon is played by card effect, like say from Mastermon's previous effect, or since it's both turns, if your opponent security checks a security effect Digimon that allows it to be played to the field, you get to choose one of your opponent's Digimon with the same level or lower than the one that was played and delete it. So not only do you get to Jagras Digivolve into Mastermon for free, but you can also add a card to your security stack that could set you up for a different play down the road or could be a level five or lower Digimon so that you can then recover your card advantage from Jagras Digivolving. But you also get to del just delete an opponent's Digimon. It's insane. Master this Mastermon card is freaking awesome and has great synergy with other Digimon cards like a slew of yellow or purple Digimon like the previous Mastermon card or, or any of the purple cards that allow you to play Digimon from the trash. Honestly, this new Jagra Stitch Evolution is a game changer. Right, other than Mastermon, we did get a look at the new Pyildramon and Dino Beamon cards as well as Gatomon and Wizardmon. It does seem like these sets will be very dual color heavy words since Pyeldramon and Dino Beamon are both blue and green, and Gatomon and Wizardmon and Mastermon are both yellow and purple. And Dino Beamon and Pyeldramon both have the Jagras Digivolution ability as well, but this time using blue and green level 4 or higher Digimon. But Pyeldramon does have two other effects. A when Digivolving effect, if this Digimon evolved by Jagras, return one of your opponent's Digimon with 6000 DP or less to the bottom of their deck. Nice little bit of disruption there. Then it has its inheritable effect when attacking once per turn, unsuspend this Digimon, which is actually pretty standard uh, Pyeldramon, Imperial Dramon shenanigans there. It's kind of what that deck was all about. Honestly, with a new Imperial Dramon coming out, plus the support from EX01, we're probably going to see another surge of Imperial Dramon decks. Considering it never really went away in the first place, it's still a heavy contender right now. Dino Beamon also has two other effects as well. When Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. If this Digimon evolved by Jagras, that Digimon cannot be unsuspended during your opponent's unsuspend phase. And then its inheritable effect on your turn, this Digimon gains 1000 DP for each color this Digimon has. Basically meaning, if you Digivolve Dino Beamon into something like the new Imperial Dramon that's coming out that will most likely be a blue and green dual color, then that Imperial Dramon would gain 2000 DP for being both blue and green. Uh, neither Wizardmon nor Gatomon seem to be featuring the Jagras ability, obviously because they're not fusion Digimon. But Gatomon does have two main effects and an inheritable effect that has to do with Jagras. So the first main effect, when played, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You can add one purple and one yellow Digimon card among them to your hand, then return the rest of the cards to the bottom of your deck in any order. That's not bad. The second main effect, on your turn, when this Digimon digivolves into an Archangel or Fallen Angel type Digimon, reduce the evolution cost by two. No doubt this is to facilitate its digivolution into Andrew Woman or Lady Devamon, but technically could also facilitate Digivolution into Neo Devamon and Ferrismon, as well as Magna Andromon. But Gatomon's inheritable effect is at the end of your turn, you can Jagras Digivolve this Digimon and your other Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand by paying its Jagras cost. Now I gotta say, I'm actually kind of stumped by this inheritable effect because it gives whatever Digimon Gatomon evolves into the ability to Jagras Digivolve into another Digimon in your hand 
from this deck, obviously, uh, it's going to be, you know, an Angel Woman or Lady Devamon that you can then Jagras to evolve into Mastamon from your hand, but Mastamon already has the Jagras effect. So, the only thing I can think of here is that the Jagras effect will require both a source that gives the, the ability to Jagras, as well as the card like Mastermind that has Jagras as like a combination to be able to pull the whole thing off, which can kind of make sense because Jagras here in this set looks really powerful, kind of OP, and has like no downsides. Uh, so maybe a little bit of extra setup in it would make sense. And if that's the case, then that means we could look forward to seeing like Femon and Wormon that possibly have the same Jagras uh, inheritable effect. Uh, but at the same time, it could also just be kind of, you know, weird translation and it's just an effect that allows your whatever Digimon Gatamon, whatever Digimon has Gatamon as a source to be able to Digivolve with any of your other Digimon into Mastamon at the end of your turn. Uh, or maybe it's just being able to give you the ability to perform that Jagras Digivolution as your turn is ending, you know? So, you know, you've already spent your memory. It's now your opponent's turn, so your turn is ending. Now you get to Jagras Digivolve your Angel Woman and your Lady Devamon in the Mastamon as your turn is ending instead of having to wait till your next turn. We'll have to wait until things, you know, come out more and more and it gets explained better. Uh, it could go either way, really, at this point. <laughs> and to wrap up the revealed cards, Wizardmon, he's a vanilla. There's nothing special there. No, I guess, and that's all we know for now. If I find out anything new, of course, I will either update you with a new video, or I'll just update you over on my new Twitter. If you aren't already following me there, you definitely should be. Besides posting when I upload something new, I also retweet important updates, as well as new information, and awesome digi art that I come across. I have also created a new Discord server, where you can just hang out, talk Digimon, and there's also tables where you can just have casual webcam digi battles. I'm also still trying to figure out what all needs to be done in order to facilitate this, but I plan on hosting tournaments in the future on my Discord channel where people can win like a free playmat or whatever, and then as time goes on, make it bigger and better and better prizes and blah blah. So, if you're interested in being a part of any of that, well then the link to my Discord is down in the description. Go check it out. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then do me a huge favor and slap that like button. Make sure you click the subscribe button as well and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to my amazing patrons of which I have a new one, Ryan So. Ryan So, thank you so much for joining my Patreon and supporting this channel above and beyond just watching the videos. Your support means way more than I could even vocalize. Thanks again. Stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.